Hello friends, welcome to my channel click to express and today we will be studying in information density and subset ratio. So what is information density? Information density is percentage of nominal values present in a particular column. So for example, if I have a column say it as column and I have a value say it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then I don't have 6, 7, 8, 9 and then I'm just putting a random value. So this is my value. So in the 10 column, I have how many uh, uh, how many columns filled is 9. So my uh, percentage of not null value over here will be 9 by 10. 9 columns which is having in you know uh, values present in that column and 10 is uh, out of 10 columns. So it is 90%. Okay. So that is 90% uh, column are here which are not null. Okay, so, uh, so let, let me show you how it's going to be done. So what I have taken here data, I just put a, I just simply, uh, I'm going to take a value like this, uh, like two columns, column one, column two I have mentioned. What I, I'm going to do is, I'm going to remove the six. Okay, so now in this column, when I check the information density for it, what's going to happen is it's going to show me 90 because in this entire column there is only one column which is doesn't have uh, you know uh, any value out of these 10 columns okay so let's see so i'll just going to save this and then go to the application and then i'm going to reload this file okay so that is nothing but this table uh, table t and the value is column 1 i suppose yeah column 1 so let's go and check the table view of it where we can see this okay so that's also a very important thing and, and then i'm going to uh, describe you like where it's going to be used and like how you're going to be you know checking it uh, checking it out when you are doing it okay so this was my table t and if i go here click on the particular column my column is column uh, 1 and then you can see the information density is nothing but this okay so which is giving me uh, the uh, the value is 90 percent so number of distinct columns in this is uh, 10 so present values in this column is 9 and not null value is 9 so not null value divided by the distinct value in percent uh, sorry a number uh, number of columns or number of uh, of you know a number of columns present there will give you uh, the uh, information density 9 divided by number of data number of uh, columns present there is 10 9 divided by 10 giving you 90% uh, that is your information density so let's let's move to the in, uh, subset ratio so what is subset ratio so subset ratio is percentage of distinct values present for the field in that table okay with respect to the entire data model so how for example if i take this value over here and let's mention this as five instead of making it six okay so i'm just mentioning over here if you can see there are totally 10 columns present here and one column is being repeated so there there are totally nine distinct values if i make this as seven so then totally how many number of columns or how many numbers of data is present totally 10 and out of 10 we have two values which are going to be repeated. So if I take is equals to totally eight distinct values are there out of 10, it's going to give me 80%. Okay, that is your inform, uh, sorry, subset ratio. So out of 10, how many distinct values are there? How many non repetitive values are present over there? Okay, so that's going to give me your subset ratio. So subset ratio is, you know, uh, is a key field since they are present in the multiple tables and doesn't share the same value okay so let's see what is the uh, how we are going to be seeing it okay so to make you guys understand what i'm going to do over here is i'm going to make this data 7 and this one. so when i'm going to check the column 1 data okay so it's going to show me it should be 80 percent because there is only one distinct value okay sorry one duplicate value so out of the 10 records i have one value which is getting duplicated okay let's see i'm just saving this data going over here reloading the data fine so if you go over here check it and then go over here and just reload the value 
Okay. So if I go over here, check the value over here. So it's showing me 90%. Uh, okay, I think I have done some mistake in the data. Uh, uh, let, let me go to here. Oh yeah, it should show me 90%. I'm very sorry for the previous discussion. So it is showing me 90%. That's because there are nine different distinct values. So why I was telling 10, I was getting mixed up with the previous thing. Okay, it is giving me 9. So for example, if I copy 5 and put it over here, so now these two values are also now not distinct. Okay, so now if I put it in blue color, so now out of these values, I have only 8 column which is distinct. So now it's going to show me 80%. Okay, so now let's move and reload the data again. Okay, fine. So just reload it. And if I go over here and check the data over here.